You must do this. No one will ever want you unless you're thin, beautiful, and perfect to know. You're not good enough. Who do you think you are by kidding by doing this? But you better not stop. You have to finish this. You won't be able to live with yourself unless you do. What should I do then when I'm hungry? What should I do when I can never get full? Unable to answer any of these questions, I longed for the past. I miss my childhood innocence when answers came so simply. You eat when you're hungry, and you believe that God loves you. I missed having those simple answers, and I thought I'd never have them again. I never dreamed that God would use all of this to show me that his love is real, even for this broken girl. Hello, uh, my name is Cheryl Cruz, and I want to thank you all for being here today. I am the author of this book, Thin Enough, My Spiritual Journey Through the Living Death of an Eating Disorder. That's a really long title, so I'll probably just refer to it as Thin Enough. <coughs> but I will be <coughs> signing copies of the book here today, and I just want to say a couple of things here before we get underway. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Northwestern Bookstore for allowing the wonderful Jen Bloom and myself to be here today. And secondly, I want to thank the wonderful Jen Bloom, singer, songwriter extraordinaire, uh, for gifting us all with her anointed music for the next few hours. Uh, I will be reading a couple of excerpts, one right now and one toward the close of our time together in a couple of minutes. Uh, but I do also want to make mention, because I deal with the issue of eating disorders, something I want to shine a little spotlight on is something called National Eating Disorder Awareness Week which starts tomorrow <coughs> and lasts through February 27th. And it is precisely what it is. It's to promote awareness about the issue of eating disorders. Because in my personal experience with eating disorders, I've relied heavily on my Christian faith walk. Uh, eating disorders affect everybody. It's not just simply a young girl's disease, although it does affect young girls and women, but it, it unfortunately affects boys and men it affects people Christian, non-Christian, every kind of society structure, class structure, financial structure, whatever. It affects everybody. And if you know somebody who has it, if you know a loved one or if you yourself are battling with food, weight, or body issues, uh, the hope I hope to get across to you is that, as it has been for me, God is the final answer. His word, his love has been the settling authority in my eating, dis eating disorder recovery process. And so regardless of whatever you're going through, whether it's eating disorders, food, weight, or body issues, um, I ask you as this week c comes about in your day-to-day -day walk, if you would just consider, uh, take a couple moments to think about how you can positively counteract the negative body images that we're bombarded with, and if you can apply God's word as being the sovereign authority to whatever argument or statistic or fact or image tries to present itself. It doesn't matter if you feel you need to lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, fit into your skinny jeans. God loves you, accepts you, has created you, called you good. Look it up in Genesis. Everything he created, he called good. And he has created you as a masterpiece. Accept yourself as is right now. Uh, like I said, I'm going to read one, one excerpt now. It's actually one of the poems that's in the book. The poems act as sort of a framework for the chapters. And I will be here at the close of the hour. And like I said, uh, please enjoy the wonderful music from singer-songwriter Jen Bloom. And thank you again for being here. The first poem that I'm going to be reading is appropriately titled Prison. Now you've done it. A prison made out of every fork time. Her prison, her answer, she called it mine. Each forkful prison, the little girl sent herself there. Now you've done it. Now you've eaten it. Now what's left? Get rid of it. She felt that God had left her anywhere. Holding on to the fork, the little girl didn't know where else to go other than to prison. She ate. She did the unforgivable. Now the little girl had to get control. Bad, bad, bad. Punish her because eating had the meaning of being fat, unacceptable.
Again, thank you so much for being here, for your support. I look forward to meeting you, to signing books, to praying with you, answering whatever questions I can. Uh, because this is a book signing, please feel free to stop by and give me something to do. Let me sign some books. I'd love to do that. Uh, but thank you again for your support. And without further ado, more from our wonderful singer-songwriter, Jen Bloom.